Moving on to a person that I follow and I'm a huge fan of. I rarely talk about the micro celebs that I am a fan of. I should do that one day. Just give you guys a list of people that actually I think we should be promoting and celebrating. Not everything is an evil, but I think the reason why this person is so great is because she's not in Hollywood. Um, if you are following her on Instagram, you might have heard of her. Uh, she goes by the handle Ballerina Farm. Uh, she is a woman who quit dancing. She was a ballerina. She attended Juilliard in New York. Her and her husband decided to move out to Utah and now they just farm and they lead a remarkably wholesome life. Her name is Hannah Nealman. Her husband is the hog farmer and I think his handle is like hog father or something like that. And it's just wholesome to, to follow her on Instagram. She's got eight children and she's constantly baking and cooking for them, tending to the chickens. Uh, again, with her eighth pregnancy, she gave birth at home. Everything about it just feels really organic and wholesome, which is the reason why she always goes through such ridiculously controversies because she's garnered this following. Women like to look at it, uh, especially women like to look at this wholesome lifestyle. And now they are selling their products. I actually uh, bought their starter kit kit for dough to bake bread because she bakes so much bread. And like I said, because it's wholesome, of course, the media has attacked or they tried to problematize it. First, what she suffered through was people saying, oh my gosh, we looked into it and actually she's a liar. Her and her husband have money. Uh, he's somehow related to the JetBlue family and people believed that she was just some poor farmer. She never once said that they were poor. In fact, if you have common sense, you would actually deduce that they have to have some level of wealth because she was a ballerina. It takes a lot of money to be able to keep up um, that particular craft, especially because she went to Juilliard, which is an incredibly expensive school in New York City. I never thought she was poor, but I guess they say, if you're a farmer, you must be poor. And they felt like it was some sort of false advertising, completely and utterly ridiculous. Well, Hannah is again coming under fire for something that is patently ridiculous. Now, if you are not familiar with Hannah Nealman, she also part-time when she's not uh, busy on the farm, she participates in beauty pageants and she recently won Mrs. American. By the way, she gave one of the greatest speeches ever, one of the greatest answers ever, rather. Um, take a listen. When have you felt the most empowered when have you felt the most empowered? I have felt this feeling seven times now as I bring these sacred souls to the earth after I hold that newborn baby in my arms. The feeling of motherhood and bringing them to the earth is the most empowering feeling I have ever felt. So we have a woman that is competing at in pageants and has a bunch of young women looking at her saying that what is aspirational is motherhood. I mean, what is more beautiful than that? And again, she stands by what she says. You can find it on her Instagram. It's beautiful to see how her kids participate in their lifestyle, how they are little farmers as well. And of course, that is the reason why she constantly has to suffer um, just being destroyed by the press, people that are just trying to say and problematize her entire lifestyle. This time it's because she is just 12 days postpartum and she seems to have lost her weight, her baby weight, and she is showing people how she is preparing once again for another pageant. Take a look. So for those of you that are not able to see this listening to the audio, she's essentially showing herself getting ready for the pageant. You can see that she still has a tiny bit of a postpartum belly, but not much at all. Uh, her younger toddler is holding the infant and she's just showing her getting her, her hair blow dried, getting ready at home and then trying on clothes that she's potentially going to wear. I mean, she looks fantastic. There's no question that for somebody who just had a baby 12 days ago, she looks completely amazing. And now she's getting her hair and her makeup done while she's holding her infant, while she's breastfeeding. She's wearing a gown. In my estimation, this is wonderful. It sends a signal to young women that your life does not 
end when you're having a child, which is what we saw yesterday. And people, I don't want to have a child. I Somehow my life will be over if I have a child. She's saying the exact opposite. She's just jumping right back into life. So why are people so upset about this? Well, in the comments that I have seen, first and foremost, they just can't believe that her postpartum body has, has gone back this way. And they say that it sets unrealistic expectations for women that they can just jump back into their lifestyles when other people are suffering from maybe postpartum depression. Maybe some people got C-section. Okay, she didn't have a C-section. She was able to have a natural birth at home. She feels great. Her body bounced right back. What is wrong with that? Literally ask yourself, what is wrong with that? And you will finally, you will likely find that the answer is people project, right? People project. People see other people that are happy, that are healthy, and they project their own insecurities onto that individual. I made a joke at the top of one of the shows that six weeks postpartum, I was like, yes, feeling so great because I got back into my jeans. And I saw one commenter say the exact same thing to me. How would you, how could you say that, Candace, that bouncing back in wearing your jeans uh, that you were wearing prepartum, why would you say that it sets unrealistic expectations? I'm not setting any expectations. We all have different bodies. I am saying what actually happened for me, right? (laughs) I'm very happy that I got back into my pre-partum genes. Why shouldn't I be? Why do people have to shut up about uh, their lives if it makes other people feel like they're not enough? And she's not saying to those people that they aren't enough, right? At all. Everybody has different experiences with labor and delivery. I obviously, it's a topic that's near and dear to my heart. I have an entire series that is dedicated talking about vaccines and talking about my own postpartum experiences. You don't make it seem as though Hannah has done something wrong because you're maybe feeling insecure about yourself when you potentially have done nothing wrong either. Of course, like everybody has different experience. And so I just want to say I am a Hannah Nealman Stan. I absolutely love her. I adore her. I think that she is one of the healthiest things that we have seen in pop culture recently. And the best part about it is she's not trying to be in pop culture. This is not um, a young woman that aspires to have paparazzi taking pictures of her. She's not telling people, hold on to your youth forever and take all of these serums and Botox. And she hardly ever wears makeup. I've only ever seen her wear makeup. Uh, When she is getting ready for a pageant, she is totally always dressed down on a farm. She loves her husband. She loves her family. Guys, please just allow people to be wholesome and good for once, because there's plenty of toxicity that we could instead reserve our anger for. All right, guys, if you like this video, you are definitely going to like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here.